The Complete Life's Little Instruction Book, H. Jackson Brown, Jr. Son, how can I help you see? May I give you my shoulders to stand on? Now you see farther than me. Now you see for both of us. Won't you tell me what you see? Volume 1. Compliment three people every day. Have a dog. Watch a sunrise at least once a year. Remember other people's birthdays. Overtip breakfast waitresses. Have a firm handshake. Look people in the eye. Say thank you a lot. Say please a lot. Learn to play an instrument. Learn to play a musical instrument. Sing in the shower. Use the good silver. Learn to make great chili. Plant flowers every spring. Own a great stereo system. Be the first to say hello. Live beneath your means. Buy great books, even if you never read them. Drive inexpensive cars, but own the best house you can afford. Be forgiving of yourself and others. Learn three clean jokes. Wear polished shoes. Floss your teeth. Drink champagne for no reason at all. Ask for a raise when you feel you've earned it. Buy whatever kids are selling on card tables in their front yards. If a fight, if in a fight, hit first and hit hard. Return all the things you borrow. Teach some kind of class. Be a student in some kind of class. Never buy a house without a fireplace. Once in your life, own a convertible. Treat everyone you meet like you want to be treated. Learn to identify the music of Chopin, Mozart, and Beethoven. Plant a tree on, on your birthday. Donate two pints of blood every year. Make a new friend, but cherish the old ones. Keep secrets. Take lots of snapshots. Never refuse homemade brownies. Don't postpone joy. Ask someone to pick up your mail and daily paper when you're out of town. Those are the first two things potential, or potential burglars look for. Never give up on anybody. Miracles happen every day. Write thank you notes promptly. Show respect for teachers. Show respect for police officers and firefighters. Show respect for military personnel. Don't waste time learning the tricks of the trade. Instead, learn the trade. Keep a tight rein on your temper. Buy vegetables from truck farmers who advertise their hand-lettered signs. Put the cap back on the toothpaste. Take out the garbage without being told. Avoid overexposure to the sun. Vote. Surprise loved ones with little unexpected gifts. Stop blaming others. Take responsibility for every area of your life. Never mention being on a diet. Make the best of a bad situation. Learn to make something beautiful with your hands. Live so that when your children think of fairness, caring, and integrity, they think of you. When your children think of fairness, caring, and integrity, they think of you. Support a high school band. Admit your mistakes. Use your wit to amuse, not to abuse. Remember that all news is biased. Take a photography course. Let people pull, let people pull in front of you when you're stopped in traffic. Always accept an outstretched hand. Be brave, even if you're not. Pretend to be. Not, no one can tell the difference. Just be brave. Demand excellence and be willing to pay for it. Whistle. Hug children after you discipline them. Give to charity all the clothes you haven't worn during the past three years. Never forget your anniversary. Eat prunes. Ride a bike. Choose a charity in your community or support it generos generously with your time and money. Slow dance. Steer clear of restaurants with strolling musicians. Don't take good health for granted. When someone wants to hire you, even if it's, even if it's for a job that you haven't if you have little interest in, talk to them. Never close your door on an opportunity until you've had a chance to hear the offer in person. Don't mess with drugs and don't associate with those who do. Avoid sarcastic remarks. In business and in family, relationships, remember that the most important thing is trust. Forget, forget the Joneses. Never encourage anyone to become a lawyer. Don't smoke. Even if you're financially well-to-do, have your children earn and pay part of their own college intuition. Of their own college tuition. Even if you're financially well-to-do. Even if, you're fi even if you're financially well-to-do, have your children earn and pay for all of their automobile insurance. Recycle old newspapers, bottles and cans. Refill ice cube trays. Never invest more in the stock market than you can afford to lose. Choose your life's mate carefully. From this one decision, you come to 90% of all your happiness or your misery. Make it a habit to do nice things for people who will never find out. Lend only those books you never care to see again. Don't let anyone ever see you tipsy. Attend class reunions. Always have someone beautiful in sight, even if it's just a daisy or a, jelly gla or a jelly glass. Always have something beautiful in sight, even if it's just a daisy or a jelly glass. Know how to type. Read the Bill of Rights. 
Learn how to read financial reports. Tell your kids often how terrific they are and that you trust them. Take a brisk 30-minute walk every day. Think big thoughts but relish small pleasures. Use credit cards only for convenience, never for credit. Treat yourself to a message on your birthday. Treat yourself to a massage on your birthday. Never cheat. Smile a lot. It costs nothing and it is beyond price. Know how to drive a stick shift. Spread country peanut, crunchy peanut butter on a Pepper Ridge Farm ginger gram cookies for the perfect late night snack. Never use profanity. When dining with clients or business associates, never order more than a cocktail or one glass of wine. If only one, if no one else is drinking, don't drink at all. Never argue with police officers or address them as officer. Learn to identify local wildflowers, birds, and trees. Keep a fire extinguisher in your kitchen and in your car. Give yourself a year and read the Bible cover to cover. Give yourself a year and read the Bible cover to cover. Consider writing in a living will. Consider writing a living will. Install deadbolt locks on outside doors. Don't buy an expensive wine, luggage, or watches. Put a lot of little marshmallows in your hot chocolate. Learn CPR. Resist the temptation to buy a boat. Stop and read historical roadside markers. Respect your children's privacy. Knocked before entering their room. Learn to listen. Opportunity sometimes knocks very softly. Know how to change a tire. Know how to tie a bow tie. Wear audacious underwear under the most solemn business attire. Remember people's names. Introduce yourself to the manager where, where you bank. Introduce yourself to the manager where you bank. It's important that he or she knows you personally. Learn the capitals of the states. Visit Washington, D.C. and do the tourist bit. Leave the toilet seat in a down position. When someone, is re when someone is relating an important event that has happened to them, don't try to taunt them with the story of your own. Let them have the stage. Have, a, have crooked teeth? Straightened. Have dull-colored teeth? Whitened. Keep your watch five minutes fast. Learn Spanish. In a few years, you'll have 35%... You'll have more than 35% of all Americans will speak it as their first language. Learn Spanish. In a few years, more than 35% of all Americans will speak it as their first language. Never deprive someone of hope. It might be all you have. Never deprive someone of hope. It might be all they have. When starting out, don't worry about not having enough money, limited funds, or a blessing, not a curse. Nothing encourages creating thinking in quite the same way. Nothing encourages creative thinking in quite the same way. Give yourself an hour to cool off before responding to someone who has provoked you. If it involves something really important, give yourself overnight. Keep a flashlight and extra batteries under the bed and in the glove box of your car. Don't buy cheap tools. Craftsman's tools from the Sears are among the best. Pay your bills on time. Join a slow-pitch safe softball league. Take someone bowling. When you're playing games with children, let them win. Turn off the television at dinner time. Learn to handle a pistol and rifle safely. Skip one meal a week and give what you would have spent to a street person. Sing in a choir. Give an acquainted... Get acquainted with a good lawyer, accountants, and a plumber. Fly old glory on the 4th of July. Stand in attention and put your hand over your heart when singing the national anthem. Resist the temptation to put a cute message on your answering machine. Have a will and tell your next folk of kin where it is. Have a will and tell your next of kin where it is. Strive for excellence, not perfection. Take time to smell the roses. Pray not for the things, but for the wisdom and the courage. Be tough-minded, but tender-hearted. Use your seatbelts. Have a regular medical or dental checkup. Keep your desk and your work area neat. And take an overnight train trip and sleep in a Pullman. Be punctual and insist on it in others. Don't, don't scrimp. Don't scrimp in order to leave money to your children. Don't scrimp in order to leave money to your children. Don't waste time responding to your critics. Avoid negative people. Resist telling people how something should be done. Instead, tell them what needs to be done. They will often surprise you with creative solutions. Be original. Be neat. Never give up on what you really want. The person with big dreams is more powerful than the one with the facts. Be kinder than necessary. Be suspicious of all politicians. Be suspicious of all politicians. Encourage your children to have part-time jobs after the age 16. Give people a second chance, but not a third. Read carefully anything that requires your signature. Remember the big print giveth and small print taketh away. Learn to recognize the inconsequential, then ignore it. Do battle against prejudice and discrimination wherever you find it. Never take action when you're angry. Be your wife's best friend. Be romantic. Let people know what you stand for and what you won't stand for. Don't quit a job until you've lined another one up. Never criticize the person who signs your paychecks. If you're unhappy with your job, resign. 
Wear out. Don't rust out. Become the most positive and enthusiastic person that you know. Be insatiable, curious. Ask why a lot. Measure people by the size of their hearts, not the size of their bank accounts. Have good posture and a room with purpose and confidence. Don't worry what you can't give your, ch your kids the best of everything, but you can give them your very best. Drink low-fat milk. Use less salt. Eat less red meat. Learn how to fix a leaky faucet and toilet. Determine the quality of your neighborhood by the manners of the people living there. Surprise a new neighbor with one of your favorite homemade dishes and include the recipe. Don't forget a person's greatest emotional need is to feel appreciated. Feel a stranger's expired, feed a stranger's expired parking meter. Park at the back of the lot at shopping centers. The walk is good exercise. Don't watch violent television shows. Don't buy the products that sponsor them. Don't carry a grudge. Show respect for all living things. Return barred vehicles with the gas tank full. Choose work that is harmony with your values. Loosen up. Relax. Exempt for life and death matters. Except for life. Except for rare life and death matters. Nothing is as important as it first seems. Swing for the fence. Commit yourself to constant self-improvement. Give your best to the employer who's the one of the best investments that you can make. And give your best to your employer. It's one of the best investments that you can make. Attend high school art shows and always buy something. Observe the speed limit. Talk, take your dog to an obedience school. You'll both learn a lot. Don't waste time grieving over past mistakes. Learn from them and move on. When complimented, a sincere thank you is the only response required. Don't plan a long evening on a blind date. A lunch date is perfect. If things don't work out, both of you have not wasted. You've only wasted an hour. Don't discuss business in elevators. You never know who may overhear you. Be a good uh, loser. Be a good loser. Be a good winner. Never grocery shop when you're hungry. You'll buy too much. Spend less time worrying who's right and who's time deciding what's right. Spend less time worrying about who's right and more time deciding of what's right. Don't major in minor things. Don't allow the phone to interrupt important moments. If It's there for your convenience, but not for the callers. Think twice before burdening a friend with a secret. Praise in public. Criticize in private. When someone hugs you, let them be the first to let go. Resist giving advice concerning matrimony, finances, and hairstyles. Never let anyone they look tired, never tell anyone they look tired or depressed. Have impeccable manners. Never pay for work before it's completed. Keep a good company. Keep good company. Keep a daily journal. Keep your promises. Avoid any church that has cushions on the pews and is considering building a gymnasium. Avoid any church that has cushions on the pews and is considering building a gymnasium. Teach your children the value of money and the importance of saving. Be willing to lose in battle in order to win the war. Don't be deceived by first impressions. Seek out the good in people. Don't encourage rude or native service by tipping the standard amount. Watch the movie. It's a wonderful life every Christmas. Drink eight glasses of water every day. Respect tradition. Never cut what can be untied. Be cautious. Be cautious about lending money to friends. You might lose both. Never waste any opportunity to tell an employee how much they mean to the company. Never waste an opportunity to tell the good employees how much they mean to the company. Buy a bird feeder and hang out. So when you can see it from your, and hang it to where you can see it from your kitchen window. Wave at children on school buses. Show respect for others' time. Call whenever you're going to be there in ten minutes late for an appointment. If you're ever going to be ten minutes late, call. Tape records. Tape record your parents' memories of how they met in their first years of marriage. Hire people smarter than you. Be modest. A lot of accomplished before you a lot was accomplished before you were born. So be modest. Take good care of those you love. Keep it simple. Purchase gas from the neighborhood of gas station even if it costs more. Next winter, when it's six degrees and your car won't start, you'll be glad that they know that they know you. Learn to show enthusiasm, even when you don't feel like it. Learn to show cheerfulness, even when you don't feel like it. Don't jaywalk. Never ask a lawyer or an accountant for business advice. They are trained to find problems, not solutions. Avoid like the plague of any lawsuit. Avoid like the plague any lawsuit. Take family vacations, whether you can afford them or not. Take them. The memories will be priceless. Every day, show your family how much you love them with your words, your touch, with your, with your thoughtfulness. And don't gossip. Don't discuss salaries. Don't nag. Don't gamble. Beware the person who has nothing to lose. Lie on your back and look at the stars. And don't leave your car keys in the ignition. When meeting someone for the first time, resist asking them what they do for a living. Enjoy their company without attaching any labels. Don't whine. Arrive at work early and stay beyond quitting time. 
when facing a difficult task, ask as though it's impossible. Act as though it's impossible to fail. And if you're going after Moby Dick, take along the tartar sauce. Change air conditioner filters every three months. Leave everything a little better than you found it. Remember that overnight success usually takes about 15 years. Cut out complimentary newspaper articles about people you know and mail the articles to them with notes of congratulations. Patronize local merchants, even if it costs a bit more. Patronize local merchants, even if it costs a bit more. Fill your gas tank when it falls below one quarter full. Never snap your fingers to get someone's attention. It's rude. Don't expect money to bring you happiness. No matter how dire the situation, keep your cool. When paying cash, ask for a discount. Find a good tailor. Don't use a toothpick in public. Never underestimate your power to change yourself. Never overestimate your power to change others. Practice empathy. Try to see things from other people's point of view. Promise big, deliver big. Discipline yourself to save money. It's essential to success. Find some other way of approving your manhood than by shooting defenseless animals and birds. Remember the deal's not done until the check has cleared the bank. Don't burn bridges. You'll be surprised how many times you have to cross the same river. Don't spread yourself too thin. Learn to say no politely and quickly. Keep overhead low. Keep expectations high. Remember that a successful marriage depends on two things. Number one, finding the right person. And number two, being the right person. See problems as opportunities for growth and self-mastery. Don't believe people when they ask you to be honest with them. Don't believe people when they ask you to be honest with them. Get and stay in shape. Accept pain and disappointment as a part of life. Don't expect life to be fair. Become an expert in time management. Lock your car, even if it's parked in your own driveway. Never go to bed with dirty dishes in the sink. Learn to handle a handsaw and a hammer. Compliment the meal when you're a guest in someone's home. Judge your success by the degree that you're enjoying peace, health, and love. Take a nap on Sunday afternoons. Make the bed when you're on an overnight visitor in someone's home. Contribute 5% of your income to charity. Don't leave a ring in the bathtub. When tempted to criticize your parents, spouse, or children, bite your tongue. Never underestimate the power of love. Never underestimate the power of forgiveness. And don't waste time playing cards. Don't bore people with your problems. When someone asks how you feel, say, terrific, never better. When they ask how's your business, reply, excellent and getting better every day. Learn to disagree without being disagreeable. Be tactful. Never alienate anyone on purpose. Hear both sides before judging. Be courteous to everyone. Wave to crosswalks, patron... Wave to crosswalk patrol, patrol mothers. Refrain from every envy. It's the source of much unhappiness. Don't say you don't have enough time. You have exactly the same hours and per day from which you've given Helen Keller, Pasteur, Michelangelo, Mother Teresa, Leonardo da Vinci, Thomas Jefferson, and Albert Einstein. So don't say you don't have enough time. You have exactly the same number of hours per day that was given to them. When there's no time for a full workout, do push-ups. Don't delay acting on a good idea. Chances are someone else has just thought of it too. Success comes from the one who acts first. Be wary of the people who tell you how honest they are. Remember that winners do not do what losers want to do. Remember that winners do what losers want to do. And be wary of people who tell you how honest they are. Rekindle old friendships. When traveling, put a card in your wallet with, with your name, home phone, phone number, friend of a close relative, important medical information, plus a phone number of the hotel or motel from which you're staying. Every so often, push your luck. Live your life as an exclamation, not an explanation. When you arrive at your job in the morning, let the first thing you say brighten everyone's day. Seek opportunity, not security. A boat in the harbor is safe, but, at, but in time, its bottom will rot out. Instead of using the words, if only, try substituting the words next time. Instead of using the word problem, try to substitute the word opportunity. Reread your favorite book. Live your life so that your epitaph could read, No regrets. Install smoke detectors in your home. Get your next pet from an animal shelter. Don't think a higher price always means higher quality. Don't be fooled. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. When renting a car with a couple of days, splurge and get a big Lincoln. Regarding furniture. Regarding furniture and clothing, if you think you'll be using them in five years or longer, buy the best that you can afford. Never walk out on a quarrel with your wife. Patronize drug stores with soda fountains. Try everything offered by supermarket food demonstrators. Be bold and courageous. When you look back at your life, you'll regret the things you didn't do more with than the ones that you did. Remember the three most important things when buying a home. Location, location, location. 
just for fun. Attend a small town 4th of July celebration. Never waste any opportunity to tell someone you love them. Own a good dictionary. Own a good thesaurus. Keep valuable papers in a bank lock box. Go through all your old photographs. Select 10. Tape them to your picture cabinets. Change them every 30 days. Be there when people need you. Let your representatives in Washington know how you feel. Call 202-225-3121 for the White for for the House and 202-224-3121 for the Senate. An operator connect you to the right office. To explain a romantic breakup, simply say it. It was all my fault. Evaluate yourself by your own standards, not someone else's, and be decisive, even if it means you'll sometimes be wrong. And don't let anyone talk you into pursuing what you want to be don't let anyone talk you out of pursuing what you know will be a great idea. Be prepared to lose once in a while, and don't flush urinals with your hand. Use your elbow. No one to keep silent. No one to speak up. Look day. Every day, look for some small way to improve your marriage. Every day, look for some small way to improve the way you do your job. Acquire things the old-fashioned way. Save them and pay cash. Remember, no one makes it alone. Have a grateful heart and be quick to acknowledge those who help you. Never eat the last cookie. Read Leadership is in an Art by Max Dupree, Dell, 1989. Do business with those who do business with you. Just see how it feels for the next 24 hours. Refrain from criticizing anybody or anything just to see how it feels. Give your clients your enthusiastic best. Save an evening week for just you and your wife. Take charge of your attitude and don't let someone else choose it for you. Let your children overhear you saying complimentary things about them to other adults. Work hard to create your children a good self-image. And the most important thing you can do is to ensure their success is to create a good self-image in their own minds. Carry jumper cables in your car. Get an all-repair estimate in writing. Forget committees. New, noble, world-changing ideas always come from a person working alone. Pay attention to the details. Be a self-starter. Be loyal. Understand that happiness is not based on possessions, power, or prestige, but on relationships with people that you love and respect. Never give loved one the gift of suggest the need of improvement. Compliment, even small improvements. Turn off the tap when brushing your teeth. Wear expensive shoes, belts, ties, but them on sale. When undecided about the color to paint your room, choose an antique white. Carry stamps in your wallet. You'll never know when you'll discover the perfect card for friend or loved one. Street musicians are a treasure. Stop for a moment and listen. Then leave a small donation. When faced with serious health problems, get at least three medical opinions. Support equal pay for equal work. Pay your fair share. Learn how to use the internet. Remain open, flexible, and curious. And never give anyone a fruit cake. Never acquire just one kitchen. Two are a lot more fun than no more trouble. Start meeting on time regardless of who's missing. Never acquire just one kitchen. Never acquire just one kitchen. Two are a lot more fun and no more trouble. Start meetings on time regardless of who's missing. Stay out of nightclubs. Focus on making things better, not bigger. Don't ever watch hot dogs or sausages being made. Being each day with your favorite music. Begin each day with your favorite music. Visit your city's night court on Saturday night. Don't be intimidated by doctors and nurses even when you're in the hospital. It's still your body. Read hospital bills carefully. It's reported that 89% contains errors in favor of the hospital. Send a lot of Valentine cards. Sign them. Someone who thinks you're terrific. When attending meetings, sit down in the front. Once in a while, take the scenic route. Don't let your possessions possess you. Wage your war against littering. Cut your own firewood. When you and your wife have disagreed regardless of what's wrong, apologize and say, I'm sorry I upset you. Would you forgive me? These are healing, magical words. Be enthusiastic about the success of others. Don't flaunt your success, but don't apologize for it either. And after experiencing inferior service, food, or products, bring it to the attention of the person in charge. Good manners will appreciate knowing. Good manners, good managers will appreciate knowing. Don't procrastinate. Do what needs to be done when it needs to be done. And read to your children. Sing to your children. Listen to your children. Take care of your reputation. It's the most valuable asset. Get your priorities straight. No one ever said has a. No one ever said on his deathbed. Gee, if I'd only spent more time at the office. Get your priorities straight. Turn on your headlights when it begins to rain. Don't tailgate. Sign and carry your organ donor card. Don't allow self-pity. The moment this emotion strikes, do something nice for someone less fortunate than you. Improve your performance by improving your attitude. Share the credit. Don't accept, don't accept good enough as good enough. Do more than is expected. And go to a county fair and check out the 4-H club exhibits. It will renew your faith in the younger generation, the 4-H club exhibits. 
Select a doctor of your own age so that you can grow old together. Make a list of 25 things that you want to experience before you die and carry it in your wallet and refer to it often. A list of 25 things that you want to experience before you die. Use club soda as an emergency spot remover. Have a friend who owns a truck. At the movies, buy junior mints and sprinkle them on your popcorn. Have some knowledge of three religions other than your own. Answer the phone with enthusiasm and energy in your voice. Change your car's oil and filter every 3,000 miles regardless of what the owner manual recommends. Every person that you meet knows something that you don't. Learn from them. Tape record your parents' laughter. Never put a candy dish next to the phone. When meeting someone you don't know well, extend your hand and give them your name. Never assume they remember you even if you've met them before. Do it right the first time. Laugh a lot. A good sense of humor cures almost all of life's ills. Never underestimate the power of a kind word or a deed. Don't under, don't undertip the waiter just because the food is bad. He didn't cook it. Conduct family fire drills. Be sure everyone knows what to do in case the house catches on fire. And don't be afraid to say, I don't know. Don't be afraid to say, I made a mistake. Don't be afraid to say, I need help. Don't be afraid to say, I'm sorry. Show respect for everyone who works for a living, regardless of how trivial their jobs are, and never compromise your integrity. Keep a notepad and pencil by your bedside table. Million-dollar ideas sometimes strike at 3 a.m. Read the Sunday New York Times to keep informed. Send your loved ones flowers. Think of, re think of a reason later. Get organized, and if you don't know where to start, read Stephanie Winston's Getting Organized, Warner Books, 1978. Attend your children's athletical contests, plays, and recitals. When you, when you find a job that is ideal, take it regardless of the pay. You've got what it takes. Your salary will soon reflect your value to the company. Look to the opportunities to make people feel important. Be open to new ideas. Don't miss the magic of the moment by focusing on what's to come. Don't use time or words carelessly. Neither can be retrieved. When a child falls in a skins a knee or an elbow, always show concern. Then take the time to kiss it and make it well. When talking to the press, remember, they always have the last word. Set short-term and long-term short long goals. When planning a trip abroad, read about the places you visit before you go. Or, better yet, rent a travel video. Don't rain on other people's parades. Stand when greeting a visitor to your office. Stand when meeting a visitor to your office. And don't interrupt. Before leaving a meet a flight, call the airline first to be sure it is on time. Enjoy real maple syrup. Don't be rushed into making an important decision. People will understand if you say, I'd like a little more time to think it over. Can I get back to you tomorrow? Be prepared. You never get a second chance to make a good first impression. Give thanks before every meal. And don't expect others to listen to your advice and ignore your example. Go to the distance. Go the distance when you accept a task, finish it. Don't insist on running someone else's life. Decide to get up 30 minutes earlier, do for a year, and you will add seven and a one half days to your waking world. Get up in the habit of putting your old billfold and car keys in the same place when entering your home. Get into a habit of putting your billfold and your car keys in the same place. Watch for big problems they disguise as big opportunities. Learn a card trick. Steer clear of restaurants that rotate. Give people the benefit of the doubt. Never admit it works that you're tired of angry or bored. Never admit it works that you're tired, angry, or bored. Respond promptly to RSVP invitations. If there's a phone number, call it. If not, write a note. Take a kid to the zoo. Make someone's day by paying the toll for a person in the car behind you. Make someone's day by paying the toll for the person in the car behind you. Don't make the same mistake twice. Don't drive on slick tires. Keep an extra key hidden somewhere on your car in case you lock yourself out. Put an insulation blanket around your hot water heater to conserve energy. Save 10% of what you earn and never disguise money with people who have much more or less than you. Never discuss money with people who have much more or much less than you. Never buy a beige car. Never buy a beige car. Don't be called out on strikes. Go down swinging. Don't be called out on strikes. Go down swinging. Never buy something you don't need just because it's on sale. Question your goals by asking, will this help me? Become my very best. Cherish your children from what they are or they are not from what you would like them to be. When negotiating your salary, think of what you want, then ask for 10% more. Keep several irons in the fire. After you've worked hard to get what you want, take the time to enjoy it. Be alert of opportunities to show praise and appreciation. Commit yourself to quality. Be a leader. Remember, the lead sled dog is the only one from which with a decent view. 
Never underestimate the power of words to heal and reconcile relationships. Your mind can only hold one thought at a time. Make it a positive and constructive one. Become someone's hero. Marry only for love. Count your blessings and call your mother.